for the front of the building is where we do our shipping and receiving and packing. And the function of the prep station is to make sure that the entire facility stays dust free. We do all of our preliminary sanding here, whether they be stain grade doors, paint grade doors, doesn't matter. We'll do our filling, power sanding at this location. All in all, this booth is used for cleanliness throughout the facility. Here we're prepping a set of large heavy doors for finishing. We utilize a system of door deckers that fasten to the sides of the doors, make them easier to handle, easier to stack, and enable us to finish all six sides without any problem. For doors that we're going to hang in the pack line system, we have these specially made brackets. We use general wood screws to fasten these to the top of the doors and then we hang them in the booth. Here we've created a custom stain color for a particular client. This particular stain will be applied by hand, which will enable us to control the depth of color and the type of look that we want to make. Here we're using one of our ready mix stain colors in a spray and wipe application. This particular gun is designed specifically for spray application. Whether they're clear coats or paint grade, conversion varnish is our finish of choice. Conversion varnish comes in all sheen levels from zero, flat, satin, semi, gloss, the full spectrum, even custom made sheen levels are available for both paint and clear coats. Here, we're mixing in our low VOC catalyst for our final spray on the cabinet. this particular project I'll be spraying with my air mix unit which allows me to use the material at full viscosity for maximum mill thickness. After applying our finish, in order to initiate the cure cycle we go to our control panel. The control panel houses the controls for the exhaust fan, the air makeup system, and the million two hundred thousand BTU heater. 75. So 75 on the thermostat gives us a working temperature of like 70 degrees inside. Once we get done spraying, we click over to here, and what it does is it, it'll go up to 125, whatever I want to set it to, uh, inside the booth. The process timer will kick on, for my cure time, which could be 10, 20 minutes, half an hour, hour, whatever. In cure mode, the exhaust turns off, and basically, it's just pushing air through. It's just pushing heated air through. It still goes out through the stack, but it uses less energy when it's in cure mode. Um, and it's all, you know, like that cabinet in particular, I'll let it sit for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes on that. Throughout the finishing process, we constantly check that the approved sample matches the client's project. There are a variety of different glazing methods, 
either applied by hand or as shown here with a small spray gun over a piece of applied molding. At the end of the process, after the finish has properly cured, the projects move into our shipping and receiving area where everything is packed carefully in foam material before shipping.